Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Josh Keatley. And I'm sure you guys already know that on June 3rd, the third Call of Duty Ghost DLC comes out, Invasion. And with that is the new Extinction Awakening. And I'm so excited for this to come out. I can't wait. With Extinction Episode 3 Awakening coming out, there is going to be brand new teeth upgrades, new relics, and new achievements. And I'm going to go ahead and go over all those for you guys today. So the first thing I want to go over, I know everybody's really excited. I know I am. It's the brand new teeth upgrades. I've been waiting a long time for this. Now the first one they have available is Keep Valid Attachments. I have it all on the screen here for you. And it says the cost this upgrade requires the evasion map pack. Now of course you are going to need the new map pack to get this. But it doesn't have the actual cost. I'm pretty sure all these aren't going to be free. I'm pretty sure it's going to cost somewhere between... 15 to 40 teeth upgrades for some of these i really doubt they're going to be completely free we will see though i could be wrong now the key valid attachments attachments transfer if they are valid for the new weapon so that's extremely nice it really sucks when you have the challenge where you have to get so many kills with you know the sniper rifle or the shotgun and no one ever wants to change out their good gun because they got good attachments on their gun and then later on as you go you know you get better guns you, you know you never want to change out your gun because attachments well with this transferring attachments over it's extremely nice but you do have to kind of stay in the same category you know the light machine gun don't get the same attachments as a submachine gun you know the submachine guns have way more attachments so you do want to keep that in mind when you're transferring over attachments i'm very excited about this now the next one is the Magnum ACOG attachment and the Magnum pistols will have an ACOG equipped. Now I think that's kind of stupid, you know, the Magnum with the ACOG I think's, you know, pretty retarded. So that one's pretty dumb. No snare. With this upgrade, Hunter and Seeker Cryptids will no longer snare players with their attacks. So basically, you know, with this upgrade, the Hunter and the Seeker Cryptoids won't fuck you up as much. The next one, IMS Fast Trigger. And this one's really nice. I've been waiting. I was kind of irritated that there was no upgrade, you know, last time with the IMS because I really do like the IMS. So this is extremely awesome for me. This really helps protect the drill protects sentry guns so much better with the IMS helps you stay alive a lot and this shortens the time it takes the IMS to detect nearby enemies I think that's really cool I do like using the IMS it really helps save your life now there is 10 new achievements in the new evasion DLC all which are part of the waking extinction map now taking a look at the first six achievements for the new evasion, awakening, extinction. Now they're, they're pretty basic, you know, basically you just have to get past a certain point and you do see it says escape awakening for the first time. So just like point of contact, we're going to be escaping on this map, which I think is really cool. You know, you want to see how fast you can you know escape and stuff like that it's a little more of a challenge and of course find all the intel you know just like any other map now the next four achievements are extremely interesting the first one says dogfight kill a gargoyle with the vanguard and awakening and regular or hardcore difficulty You'll see on the screen here, I'll show you some of the gargoyles that they're talking about. And that's brand new in Extinction. I think that's really cool. And with the Vanguard. Now, a lot of people are saying that the Vanguard is going to be a new weapon. But I believe it's going to be an attachment that you put on certain weapons. And I'll show you why I think that in just a little bit here. Now, the Egg Extra Awakening. It says complete the Egg Extra XP Challenge which is nothing new. We've had that every DLC. But then it says, and then scan an obelisk in the invasion DLC package. And this is just like the last egg extra from the last DLC, except it had destroy a hive. And this one says scan obelisk. And you can see from the video on the screen here that instead of hives, you know, with the drill, looks like the drill is going to be scanning obelisk. And we've seen obelisk before and wasn't 
point of contact. It was nightfall. When you first walked into the building, there was an obelisk right there. Samantha actually mentioned the obelisk, and that's how, you know, it caught my attention. Like, oh, there's the obelisk over by the building. And, you know, if you Google search obelisk or YouTube, it, you know, you'll see a lot of interesting videos. You know, obelisk is something that's real in real life, something that's really cool. A lot of people think there's some type of weird ancient alien theories behind obelisk and there's a lot of weird theories out there with obelisk definitely google and youtube search obelisk all right so the next achievement like a glove kill five cryptoids with the arc attached to every compatible weapon and awakening and regular hardcore now that's exactly why i believe the arc is not a weapon but an attachment that you put on the weapons it says kill the five cryptoids with the arch attached to every compatible weapon i think that's really cool that they have something new that you attach to the weapon and to get this achievement you have to attach it to all the weapons weapons really cool and the last one is escape waiting with each of the four classes and regular hardcore difficulty and once again we see escape which is really cool and with the four different classes you know never really had anything before that mattered what classes you use so this is something a little different you might see people using different classes that they might not use you know like the medic the tank the engineer or the weapon specialist you know in order to get this achievement in awakening there is five new relics introduced and i really wonder if you're still gonna be able to put on just five relics or if now you can beat it with 10 relics. I mean, that would be absolutely insane score to have 10 relics on and, you know, escape. Absolutely insane. I'm not sure if, you know, you can only put 5 on at a time or if there is no limit. You know, I, I do hate relics because it makes the game so much harder. But let's go ahead and go into the new relics. Fragile, slow health generation, no regeneration while sprinting, and falling damage is enabled. That one would suck ass. Standard guard move slower no reloading while sprinting so you'd have to you know stop or walk while sprinting and you're slower you get your ass kicked that one would really suck ass no machines no equalizers or a strike package available so like on the loadout screen that's basically the the two bottom things no like shield on your back and no strike packages so no like sentry guns and stuff like that that one's not too bad limited ammo ammo refills and weapon pickups will give you less Less ammo yeah that would really suck to have less ammo but not too bad once again earn your keep no ammo type and team support items available and no scavenger scavenging crafting or pickups from deployed boxes yeah that really does suck what really sucks about it is the no ammo type you know you'd have to constantly shoot regular ammo you wouldn't get any special ammo at all that wouldn't be horrible for your team you know you'd constantly be have to probably throw down regular ammo ammo you couldn't probably pick up the other regular the other ammo or maybe you could pick up the other ammo and it just give you regular ammo i don't know how that would work but that really looks like it would suck now some things i want to know about some of the gameplay that's shown in the new trailer of awakening you know one of the guys says dr cross and dr cross you know all evil like says not anymore dr cross So I think in the last episode when, you know, they showed Dr. Cross strapped up in a chair and they're doing all types of stuff to her, you know, they probably injected her with some evilness or you never know, maybe we're the bad guys, maybe the aliens are the good people, maybe she just switched sides and she's helping out the aliens because we're the bad people, you know, I, you never know, you know, it's cool to have theories about it and I'm going to put out a video really soon that's just going to explain the entire storyline of up to now so I'll be looking forward to that video coming soon and also there's this moment in the video where they say there's the art So we already talked about the attachments. The arc is attachments, but then they yell out, here's the arc. So I really don't know what the arc could really be. Like is it some type of laser beam that helps you shoot down? Is it just an attachment that you get and you put it on your gun? I don't know. I'm really interested to see what the hell the arc is. 
And that's about all I got for you guys. You know, I'm definitely really excited to play Awakening. I can't wait. I'm going to be playing a lot of Extinction all week long until this comes out on Tuesday. So I can get a lot of teeth upgrades. So when the new DLC does come out, I can just immediately buy all those brand new upgrades and show that to you guys in videos. So if you guys are interested in playing with me at all this week while I'm playing or when the new DLC comes out, please leave your gamer tag in the comments. I do try to play with as much people as I can. Sometimes it's hard to get a hold of people. My schedule is really random whether I'm going to be playing in the morning or late late at night. You know <laughs> you never know with me. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Please support it with likes, comments, favorites. I love you guys so much. I want to thank you and you have a great day today.